Hey, what is up guys? Check this out. Silver Grizzly just came out with this new coffee. It's a uh, natural, they have natural and washed. Um, okay, so I don't really remember the specifics of it. I, I asked them about it. I don't remember what the details were, but usually it says washed here. This says natural, so I was like, I don't know what that means. So I asked them, and from my understanding, from my memory at least, from my understanding, they get it looking like that. Uh, in case you don't know, coffee is actually a fruit. It's a fruit pit. So yeah, so they get it, it comes in looking like that. Actually, now I'm just confused. It's a little bit pricier because it's a little bit more work. Um, well anyway, so I ordered this batch. The first few batches the guy made, he actually caught it on fire and it still tasted good. And he told me like, this one wasn't caught on fire, you know? So it's probably a lot better and I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna try it. What on earth? I've never drank coffee like that. That's insane. It's like sweet coffee. Like there's no bitterness to it. That's, yeah, there's no bitter, that's, guys, it's like drinking coffee with no bitter aftertaste. That's great, are you? That's like crazy, that's crazy. Anyway, so what's up? That fan's gonna drive me crazy, hang on. Yeah, it's still in my view. All right, so if you don't know what today is, it's Q&A day. So we're gonna get to answer. Q&A day and it's also midnight, so you know, give, give me a break, please. Let's find some comments or questions. Someone asked, do y'all make tamales in that steamer? I'm not sure which steamer they're preferring, referring to, but if you're referring to the really big one in a garage, yes, that, that's exactly why we bought it. And the really weird thing about that is, my mom's Hispanic and my dad's white and my dad makes the tamales. Yeah. And they're good too. No, I'm not just saying that. I've had some genuine tamales from my Mexican grandma and then I've had tamales from my dad. They're good. They're not whitewashed. Anyway. Are going to the Jeep Invasion in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee? There's a Jeep. Hang on, I have to Google this. The uh, Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion in Pigeon Forge. Is that a? Is that an old Bass Pro Shop? It looks like Bass Pro Shop. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna save that page because I'm gonna keep looking at that. I might have to go there. Um, I've never heard of that before, but it looks pretty cool. So. Um, update me on when that is, and I, I might have to go one day. I noticed you're in Texas. What city do you live in? Um, kind of classified information. I already feel like I kind of show a little bit too much of where I live to uh, want to share that. Um, so I'll just say, like, in the East Texas area, just, you know, for safety reasons. Oh, my dog's barking. I gotta go. BRB. All right, I'm back. Somebody asked, what tire are you running on this journey? Um, I don't remember when, but at some point I was like, KO2, BFG, Goodrich, All Terrains are the number one tire. I don't remember where I saw it. Maybe I remember I was doing research on tires, but for some reason I decided that at some point and I am like convinced that that is like the number one tire, the best tire, and like I haven't even bothered trying to find anything else. So that's what I have on there right now. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, when those wear out... Um, I might switch to the mud terrains, but I mean only I, I feel like I'll only do that if like I ever run into a problem where The all-terrain tires don't seem like enough But for the most part those all terrains are they're pretty gnarly and they've held up really good on and off-road I really like them. I feel like the mud terrains would be a little bit too gnarly for a highway And I will be on the highway a lot. So right now BFG KO2 all terrains are the tire and that's what I'm sticking with this isn't really a question, but somebody said that they would suggest to take the carpet out. It makes it easier to clean up and sweep instead of needing to find a vacuum on the road. Um, well, they actually, I actually thought about that before because, I mean, I'd probably vacuum it even if, you know, even if I didn't, if I didn't have carpet, I'd still probably need a vacuum. And they do make little like 12 volt vacuums, so I'm probably just going to get a little portable vacuum. Mildew was my biggest concern, mildew and rust buildup underneath. But this carpet actually, it's uh, its the bed rug carpet, so the mildew shouldn't be a problem. I actually installed it specifically for this reason though. There is a lot of heat that comes into the cabin from the floor bed and stuff in the front seat. So I really wanted to try to insulate it as best I could. And so far it seems to work pretty well. So I'm actually, sorry, I'm going to keep the, keep the carpet because it's insulation. 
Um, I do actually really like the bed liner and stuff, and if it was just going to be my everyday from work and stuff, I would probably just keep it, but um, if I'm going to be living in it, I would like some insulation, so carpet. Somebody asked, how will I earn income on the road, and did I save up a specific amount for the trip, or am I just going to wing it? Have I heard of an overland bound? If not, check it out. Well, um... How do I, um, I, I didn't really save up money. I'm kind of saving money right now. Um, I will definitely have over a thousand dollars, hopefully more to start this trip. And I'm going to try to, you know, to just preserve and hold on to that money as long as possible. How do I intend to make money on the trip? I have no idea. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of playing it by ear. Um, I might, you know, at some point need to stop and try to get jobs, but I'm hoping that I can spread out enough that I'll get to a point where someone, if I really do need to stop and work that, you know, there will be someone who will have a job for me. I think that's all the questions I have. That coffee is really good. Um, please note, Silver Grizzly does not sponsor these videos. I just love their coffee because it's amazing. However, I did reach out to them because I would like them to sponsor me because if they sent me this coffee for free on the road, it would be fantastic. They don't sponsor me, but I would like them to sponsor me. But if they ever do sponsor me, I just want you guys to know they make the best coffee. I'm not just saying that because they sponsor me, it's because it's true. And that's why I'm reaching out to them and uh, I hope they sponsor me. The Jeep is out of the garage again and tomorrow you guys will get to see the Jeep. I know I told you guys I would show you, you know, the next day, but then it was raining and stuff. I couldn't get in the garage and then my dog got out and everything. It was a mess, but I will show you guys tomorrow. I will show you guys how the Jeep is looking. I'm really excited. Things are starting to look up. And yeah, I'm gonna get more work done on the Jeep and then you guys can see all the progress I've made. It's looking great. We're getting so much closer. It's like every day is only getting closer. And yeah, I'll show you guys what's going on. Should be fun. Have a great day.